12 dancers arrived in Los Angeles with one goal. This is the competition of a lifetime. To become my ultimate dancer. No excuses. Come on. Each week, the dancers and their moms endured the toughest dance competition ever. Faster, faster, faster. Just really hard on me. OK, so stop it. On the line, $100,000. She has no idea how big this is. Plus a scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet School in New York. It'll change my life, like, a lot. You better take this seriously. From fairy tales and the circus to the end of the world, we've had our share of meltdowns. <laughs> Tears? No, don't you cry. And more tears. <laughs> I'm an outcast sometimes. The tension between the moms was hot. You don't know me, so you better back off. Bringing them to their boiling point. Let's the damn kids dance! And with each elimination, the competition got tougher. Do it! More! Come on, Hadley! I'm just feeling a lot of pressure. Tonight was not your most shining moment. Get out! I know what? No, hit me! You have to hit me! By far, the worst we've ever seen you perform. I don't give a crap! Now, it's down to the final three dancers. Madison. If you mess up on one thing, you will get eliminated. Brianna. I want this so bad. I want to win this. The pressure is more than ever. Asia. If there's only going to be one ultimate dancer, someone's going to have to leave. They each have the drive, passion, and determination but only one can be my ultimate dancer. Hey, Dad, I made it to the top three. Wow, Maddie, that's so awesome, really? Yeah. Wow. It's a huge deal to make it into the top three. I've been working so hard for this my whole life. I want to be a professional dancer, and I made so many sacrifices. How's Grandma doing? Grandma's great. Everybody is thinking about you. We all miss you, but that's so awesome. We finally made it to the top three. It's been a long journey. If she wins, she gets to go to the Joffrey School of Ballet. That is life-changing for her. Madison's been dancing since she's been three. She started competing at the age of six. She needs this to get to her next step, which would be Juilliard. All right, love you, miss you. I'm going to push myself to the limit like I've never pushed myself before, and I'm going to win this competition. So are you excited? Mm-hmm. I'm ready for a good day. I didn't come here to lose. Being a part of this competition is the biggest accomplishment of my dance career. You know, it's a dream come true, and I've been waiting for this my whole entire life. Is that too high? Mm-mm. OK. Brianna has been dancing for nine years, since she was four years old. She's won 30 to 31 first overalls. This is it, friend. Winning this scholarship would be huge for Brianna because she would get training that she's not getting right now, and it would make her a better dancer. Bam! Oh, the stage. Asia's been dancing since two, and she's been on stage since four. Our biggest win with Star Power National is when Asia won Miss Petite title at five years old. A scholarship and $100,000, I think that would be amazing. Her knowledge of money, she can't comprehend that. But the scholarship alone, Asia gets that. I hope I win Abby's ultimate dance competition. Then it's going to turn into Asia's ultimate dance competition. Good morning, dancers. Good morning, moms. Congratulations on making it to the finale. Over the last few weeks, you've earned a place in the top three. What you do with that opportunity is up to you. You guys have your solos, but you'll also be performing a trio, which will be judged. But right now, you're ready for your last ever group challenge dance? Yes. I think you know your choreographer, one of the most intense choreographers ever. That's right. Today, I'm going to teach you the combination. I'm trying to look at this as any other challenge, but it's not like any other challenge we've done because it's with Avi. So I'm a little nervous going into this challenge. All right, moms, if you'd kindly exit the stage and take your seats.
Our very last challenge is going to be tough. These dancers need to impress me with my own choreography, and I expect perfection. And reach, step, glissade, Abby teaches choreography different than other teachers. She actually doesn't show the movements. She explains the movements, and she walks it through. So you really have to be able to pick up choreography fast, and you have to know what she's asking for. And then ronde de jambes to back attitude, and your arms are in third. The winner of Abby's ultimate dance competition has to be a well-rounded dancer. Asia needs to show me her perfect technique. Madison has the perfect technique, but needs to emote. And Brianna, well, I want to see a softer side of her. Take what I gave you and make it amazing. You guys have 15 minutes to learn that, to rehearse. Then we'll come back. She'll watch, she'll judge, and she'll pick a winner. And the winner of this challenge will get to choose when you do your solo at our next show. You can go first, in the middle, or last. Whoever wins this gets that choice, OK? It is definitely an advantage to be able to pick where your solo will fall in line, first, second, or third. This is crucial. The prize of this challenge is you get to pick the order of which solo goes when. And there is an advantage to that. If you're last, I think the last one out, that's what the judges are going to remember. I think they should just go one at a time. So probably, Chris, you go first, and then you can just take Madison, and then I'll do Asia last. OK. <laughs> OK. Keep doing Asia last, but I said she can watch our kids. Does she know the choreography? I didn't mind the girls working one-on-one. -on -one. What I didn't like is Christy was pretty strategical about it, that she had Asia go last. So of course, her idea was to watch Brianna and Madison and pick up the choreography. Asia, come here. Come off stage. You're going to stand. Um, they're going to have each girl do it, and you're going to do it by yourself. So you're going to watch Brianna, and, and you're going to watch, OK? I'm so worried right now that Asia has 15 minutes to learn this routine. I don't think she's going to get it in 15 minutes. Oh, it's wasting their time. I know. At this stage of the game, whoever's left, you need to be able to pick it up. So Asia has a disadvantage. Cue the music. You hold me up to block the sunlight. Okay, stand up. Asia, right now, I think this choreography is a little over your head. I specifically made the turns doubles. Double pirouette, double compass, single a la seconde for you. And you still didn't nail it. You've been sliding by in every one of these opening numbers, making mistakes, tripping people up, and then you get out there for your solo and you nail it, and you're amazing, and you're getting standing ovations from the judges. Pull it all together, you could win this. Madison, at the end of the choreography, there's a tilt. You're piking it forward instead of being properly aligned. Your hips need to square off at the beginning on the Grand Jeté downstage. Brianna, I've been on you about the feet. They're better, they're getting there, they're just not quite there yet. In this first turn, it was turned out. I put it on an angle so that I could see that turn out. And you didn't press that knee back. You didn't tuck that hip under. However, your tilt at the end was properly aligned. It was excellent. So with all that said, this was one close race. I'm going to have to go with Madison. Congratulations, you are the winner of the challenge. Great job, Madison. All right, why don't you tell us who's performing the first solo at the finale? Asia. Asia is number one. Madison chooses Asia to go first. Asia has a hard time waiting, so I'm fine with Asia going first. Who's following Asia? Brianna. All right, Brianna, and that would leave you the third and final solo. And one more little surprise for you. You each get a little mentor session with one of our three judges. These mentoring sessions are important for you to fix whatever weakness is holding you back. 
I really wanted Abby as my mentor because Abby's all about the technique. And that's what's going to help me win this competition. And one more thing, you've got your solo and a trio, but I will also have one more special surprise for you later on. Final three dancers have been given solos that will test their weaknesses. Asia has a jazz solo with lots of technique. Brianna's contemporary number needs to show a more elegant, softer side. And Madison, yeah. she needs to pour out her emotions during her lyrical solo. The clock is ticking, and these kids are running out of time. They need to get these routines down. Can you make that swoop a little bit more? So deeper plie here and then more. Ooh. Today is my first rehearsal for my contemporary solo, and I'm really excited because contemporary is one of my strengths. Go ahead, girl. World is tiny, but I'm standing still. I'm noticing that the transitions in this piece are actually extremely hard. And if I do nail these transitions, I will show the judges that I can be a flowy dancer in a strong piece. <laughs> right now, it's not about the prize. That is secondary. It's not about the scholarship right now. It's not. I need her to do it for herself. For me, it's about my grandmother that passed away. She's gotten me through every week and been watching over me this whole experience. And we're at the final stage now, and she's just at the end of the line at the door to Joffrey and just saying, come. solo is dedicated to the competition because if I win this competition, I will leave for New York for four years. And it's saying goodbye to my family and friends in my dance studio, but it's saying I'll always see you later. All right, all right. Let's talk about it. Your neck goes from this calm space to like, <laughs> it gets so stiff. And I don't know how your body is like, I don't know how it's snapping around. Relax, relax. As I'm doing my turns, Ricky's telling me to hum so I can have a face when I turn because the judges always nail me for that. Oh, well, that was the most beautiful turn of the day. The judges have been picking on me for not having emotion, so I really need to take this correction. I really need to feel the dance because the song is so beautiful. And I just need to really do my best. I'm going to stress you guys out about technical notes. You know what you need to do? The performance quality has to be above and beyond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the finale. We have to go out with a bang. Move your hips. Yeah, use your plie. I go boom. Yeah. My solo is very sassy, and it's fierce. And my story is I'm a fierce diva, fast Denisha on the catwalk. Oh. Madison is the one to beat this week. My opinion, Asia can beat Madison if she's on her A game. Molly and I are on Asia like a hawk in that we are just pounding it in Asia's head how important it is for her to show that she has made improvements throughout this journey. That's going to be cute. That's good. Just show that. Hey, you're always first. Remember in competitions, you're always first. That's perfect. There's no pressure to get my solo done because those girls will be woo, and I'm woo. Hey, ladies. I see Abby coming down the stairs, and my heart drops. I'm like, there can't be another challenge. It's a big day around here. We have another surprise for you. We were talking it over. We don't think you have enough going on this week. Busy, busy, busy. There's also going to be a group number. Wait a second. There's only three of us. What's the difference between the trio and the group dance? We're going to bring in some guests. Should we bring the guests in? You guys want to meet the guests? Yes. Yes. All right. Come on down. People have 
come back and it just lightens the mood so much. It makes this easier. I'm so proud of you. I did not think Asia was going to make the top three. I thought she was going to make the top five. I'm happy to see Yvette. But I definitely know not all the moms are happy to see her. Uh, <laughs> I know what kind of day it's going to be. You have no idea. It's so tough being back. I'm still very emotional about it because I definitely wouldn't happy to be in the top three. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is too much. <laughs> Proud of you, Asia. Oh my god, my god. Excuse me. <laughs> Kids, line up. Yes. I'm sorry, moms, I have to say this. There's so much unfairness on the judging. My daughter, Lexine, all she got was hip hop, hip hop, and hip hop. She got paired with Asia. I am shocked that Asia is one of the three finalists. But if I was on the judging panel, I have to say, Madison's got this. This is a process. I have an opinion. The two other judges have an opinion. I think some of the moms have a chip on their shoulder because their children have been eliminated, and it's all coming out now. Would anyone else like to say anything? I think it's a little strange to compare a, a six, seven-year-old to, like, a 13-year-old. I feel like there may be a dancer in the top three that Zachary could easily outdance. Did I just say that? I did. You're very much about technique, technique, technique. I am. Right. Richie and Robin are not. These dance moms just don't know when to quit. Well, come on. Let's face it. Their kid was cut. Move on. I know there's a lot of talk about Asia and that she shouldn't be here. That's not the case right here. Moms, don't put your foot in your mouth. I know you're all excited to get started, but I want to remind our three finalists. You are being judged on the opening number. Your friends, they are just performing. All right, you guys have a lot of work to do, so let's get your choreographer out here. Gina Starbucks. Hey, welcome back. Hi. Finalists, do your best. Bye. So this number is gonna be a bit like commercial, and Abby's very much about technique, and I come from a technical place myself, so. Have some fun with it. Okay, spread out, let's do this. Five, six, seven, eight. There it goes. One. Right arm rolls up. Asia, make sure it gets above your head so I see it. I just think everyone is just envious of their child losing to a seven-year-old. With all these returning moms, I'm gonna have to be on guard 24-7. I got her this far, it's all up to her now. Because I'm such a great rhinestoner. <laughs> I'm the worst at rhinestoning. <laughs> All the moms are sitting here gossiping and catching up. I don't care what these moms think. If people were buying tickets for these dancers to perform, Asia's would sell out. Six, seven, eight, drop. Right, left, cross. That part's tricky. Thank you, Brianna, that's nice. Now we have a solo and a trio. And now we have a group dance. Now you have three dances that are being performed and being judged. So the pressure's on. I have this gigantically huge scaffolding. Just be patient with me once we get on the scaffolding. I'm a little surprised that Asia has made it all this way, but I just feel like her technique is not good enough to be Abby's ultimate dancer. I'm just really puzzled that she even made it this far. There are three people that I'm extremely happy to see uh, return. Yvette, Gina, and Erin. Those three ladies, I just have a different connection with each one of them. This is it! This is the final stretch! I know. Don't this worry, is the final I have stretch. really good aim. <laughs> Can we drink? <laughs> Cheers. Oh, Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Having you guys back. So happy to be back. Yes. 
cheering you on. Yes. It's a victory lane. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just commend you guys for being here this long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm noticing that it's pretty divided. On one side, they're very comfortable with each other and talking, and on the other side, they're keeping to themselves. Crane can read right there that I'm just disgusted. What? what are you guys I'm still rest. I'm just disgusted. I'm back for one day, and Christy's at it again. Come on, get up, ladies. No, I'm not getting up, I'm good. Maria wants to have a toast. Christy's like, no, I'm not doing it. And that's just because you know Yvette's sitting there across the room from her. And I don't blame her. Maria, Maria, let's get it real. I'm not toasting with the haters. I'm looking at a hater right there. Thanks. I cannot believe that Christy is attacking Yvette. Not now, it's not appropriate. I am so flattered. I'm still laughing. I was laughing all the way home when you left because you ate your words. She, she is the best example of crazy dance mom. You yeah. need to own it. Own it. I, well, I'm on purpose. Own and it. I, you made Elizabeth oh cry and you laughed. Wow. I just think people are cowards because they talk behind my back. So you guys are all cowards because you know each one of you have. I told you to your face what I thought. And I'm sure you've talked about us. Sitting there with a smile. And guess what? That's what I was doing when you left. That's great. You have no class. You have no class. No, you just don't know how to deal with someone like me. Get out. I did Get out. Get out. I'm telling you. Get out. I am telling you. Get out. I I get out. you. I'm telling you. you know get out. You know what? You come to this world in LA, you'll never last a day. You know never last a day. Can I talk for one yeah. second? Yeah. Okay. We are all here because we Love our kids Stop to a fault. That. Stop, stop, stop. Gina, you know what? In my world, I don't let people like that get away with it anyway. She's the one that talks about people's backs. I don't need to. All of a sudden, everybody's screaming at everybody, and it's a nut house again. Like, nothing has changed here. So, you know what? I'm going to make a toast. I'm going to make a toast to Brianna and her mom, Chris, Madison and her mom, Corrine. And I'm even going to toast to Asia, and believe it or not, Christy made the best kid win. I couldn't be happier to be here to support all of the three finalists. Please join me. Cheers. To me, that woman's evil. And I just don't know why people can't see through it. Let's go. No, we'll go. Way. No, let's go. No, we're done. Come on, wait. No, not doing it. Are you kidding me? No, but good luck to Brianna and Madison. I was getting there. Thank you. Wow. I'm going with you. I ain't standing there for that No. This week, I'm sure Yvette's going to probably try to do something. I don't put anything past her. You know what that is? That's high school. No, you know what? It's middle school. All those bitches in there are jealous because she's little and she's cute. If I have to put Yvette in her place again, I will. Group dance is essential for these three finalists. This is the first time it's being judged. These kids really need to bring their A game. They've got to work together with their eliminated friends, but also outshine one another. The pressure's on. Let's look at that one more time, yes? When I see the scaffolding for the group dance, I'm like, are you kidding me, another prop? I am nervous, but I just have to do what I do best, and I just have to go on stage and perform. Whoa, and a cat. Jumping up and down off the scaffolding is kind of scary because you don't want to get nicked on anything that's on the scaffolding. But what you gonna do? War wounds are a part of dance. We've been climbing up the same damn wall, bleeding from our fingers, but we ain't gonna fall. Cause we know the clouds are Ever since Christy walked out during the toast, there's definitely been a little uncomfortable feeling between the moms now. I just want to focus on Madison. I want to get her to the finale and I don't need distractions, I don't need drama. Right now I'm watching the rehearsal in this group dance. Asia is not fearful of huge props. She's working it and she has her own few moments that she can be herself and I think she's gonna show the judges that she can stand up there with the 13 year old and hold her own. Smooth six, seven, stop. Asia, you don't move till when? Five, here we go. Asia's struggling picking up the group challenge again. And this is not a toddler competition. Asia's got amazing face, but there's a lot more to dance than just that. If Asia can't learn the choreography, then she shouldn't be here. To 
Today is the last day of rehearsals. My fellow judges and I have set aside time to mentor the final three. This is their last chance to fix whatever weakness is holding them back from victory. Is that a happy surprise or a frightened surprise? This is your little one-on-one -on -one chit chat. I think you need me. Asia needs Abby at this point. We want her to reinforce what she needs to do at this age to clean up the critiques that Abby has been giving her. You're sitting here right now, and your feet are sickling. On stage, you're not thinking about your feet. I want you to be able to come out there and be a star without this. Hey, hey, hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Fantastic, hi, Mom. Hi. I'm really happy that Madison got Richie as a mentor, because now she could finally ask him face to face, what is it that I need to do to win you over, to win this competition? For me, there's always been one thing missing with you. It's not face. It's emotion is what I want for you. So what I need to do is just really just let go, because you have everything else. I think I hold back a little on this competition with my emotion, because I really want to impress Abby with my technique. But if I really use my emotion this week, I could win this competition. Hi, Brianna. Hi. I'm really happy that I'm having this one-on-one -on -one with Robin, because I've never really gotten the chance to really connect with her. How do you see yourself as just a dancer? Sometimes I look at myself, and I like what I'm seeing. And other times I go, oh, that doesn't look right. Sometimes with great dancers, they dance hard. It's not about being perfect. It's nice to have the mentor meeting. You get to see where the judge is coming from, what they're looking for. Where's the softer Brianna? That's, that's the Brianna that I want to know. Talking with her is great, because I know what I need to show her in my last performance this week. Robin, Richie, and I, we're all looking for something different. Robin wants that star quality, that pizzazz. Richie is looking for feeling and emotion and passion. I, of course, am looking for technique. I want a flawless dancer to win this competition. So you're gonna, but look at your foot. Look every single time you hop. Ready, plie? Wing that foot. There you go. Now sickle it. That's what you do. Right back where we started. Show me what happy is. Who's happy, Madison? OK, we love happy Madison. <laughs> OK. Give me like someone just punched you in your gut pain. Or just like, ugh. <sighs> yes. And what'd you just say, out? Yeah. That's what should happen. Scream. <laughs> See, you're afraid. Break the glass. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, my god. Richie is telling me that I just need to relax. I don't need to be so tense. I want the fingers from Richie this week. Fantastic. Sitting here with you, you look angelic. When I see you on stage, I don't see that. Where's the softer Brianna? That's the Brianna that I want to know. I'm tough, and I'm a very strong-willed person at school. Definitely, people are rude to me, talk down to me. I have thick skin, but underneath, there is another softer side of me. When you get onto stage, try to let go of the pressure. Let's see the soft, beautiful Brietta that I'm seeing right now. Dance with joy in your heart. There you go. She gets it. She just has to go on stage and do it. I'm a very smart girl, and I know that I'm going to do Ivy's corrections because that's what's going to help me win this competition. Here's the deal. It's the top three. It's the finals. You go out there and turn that foot in, you're not the winner. Hey, guys. I am your trio teacher. It's lyrical. It's called um, the finish line. OK, so it's kind of like appropriate. Coming to the finish line. You have to work as a team to make this trio awesome, but then also stand out individually, yeah? A trio is a very complicated routine. Timing is crucial for these three. And to be honest, if anyone is too fast or too slow, the judges and I are going to notice. Oh. Yeah. Being judged in this trio 
is a disadvantage. Asia is not strong in lyrical, so I am worried about it being judged. <laughs> Asia. Are you lost? Yeah. What part? The whole thing? It was kind of fast, and I didn't pick up the choreography like the other girls did. Roll. Leg out. Get face the back. Yeah, Asia, you got to go, because she can't step over you until you're there. Asia is having a little bit of trouble with the trio. Me and Brianna have had seven years more of training than Asia, so we definitely have more technique. Up and breathe to your spot. You have three different dancers up there, and it might be hard to get all three on the same timing because of the height difference. Asia is still having trouble picking up the choreography. However, they're being judged individually, so Madison's just going to benefit from that. So you're both going this way, and then where you're going that way. Come here, come here, come here. Any moves? Is there any move that's too hard for you? C-jump. Is there a C-jump that you're not used to? Show me the C-jump right now. Practice your C-jump. Uh, is that how you're supposed to land? Christy is, she's over the top in correcting Asia. Sometimes I think, you know, you just got to sit back and let the girls dance. Right now, I'm thinking the trio is a big hot mess. Their timing is off. Asia's always a step behind. One's faster, one's slower. They're interpreting the music differently. I just think it's a hot mess. Madison, you almost done? Because we got to get you stretched. Today is so important. I've worked so hard for this day. And I just have to take the judge's correction, so I have to have a lot of emotion. And I think I'll be great. I know this is your dream. You've always wanted this. You've come such a long way from your little ballet tap combo class. Mm -hmm. I know you want it. You just go out there it's and so show it. It's so amazing to win. I really want to win this competition because of the Joffrey Scholarship. But we'll see what happens, because everybody's really, really good. Such a big day, right? This has been the most challenging, stressful week out of this whole competition. If Asia can't fix these corrections tonight, it's going to be over. I love you. Me too. Just, I want you to dance from your heart. The pressure is on. There's $100,000 and a Joffrey scholarship on the line here. And I'm not competing anymore to stay another week. I'm competing for the prize now. So it's my last shot of showing the judges I can win this. No, it's all good. You know that. I love you no matter what. My mom's kind of getting a little emotional. But I love her to death, and I can't thank her enough for this experience. Oh. Today is the big day. Asia and I are walking in with our focus on making this the best performance ever. Fancy schmancy. And we come into the vanity and we see this amazing table full of treats and of course drinks for us moms. Even though it is a pressure day, I'm feeling like I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Cheers to the Cheers. final three. Cheers to the final three. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Walking into the vanity room is just a great experience, and I feel like I never left. We're not really in the competition. We're here to have fun. It's incredible. You need to change your group costume. It is really great being able to get ready with everybody again, like, for the last time. If Asia's going to win this, she's going to have to nail all three dances. There is no room for failure tonight. Asia has to bring her A game. I just need you know some what? air while you know I'm sweaty. You know it's a final show. Someone's going to have to pick a winner. I really hope it's me. The worst thing that can happen tonight is me not giving emotion. I know Asia has the face, and so does Brianna. And I just really need to bring it, or else I might upset the judges. Welcome to the final stage show of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. 
weeks ago, we began with 12 of America's best young dancers, and now only three remain. They've been tested in a variety of challenges and dance styles and proved themselves to be the best of the best. They're about to perform their very last competition dances in a battle to become Abby's first ever ultimate dancer. Who will it be? It all starts right now. Let's say hello to the three people who have had to make all the difficult decisions. I'm talking about our judges. She is the creator and choreographer for the world famous Pussycat Dolls. Make some noise for the lovely Robin Anton. Hi, Robin. Seated next to Robin, we have Richie Jackson. He is Lady Gaga's visual director and choreographer. Give it up for Richie. And certainly last but not least, I'm talking about Abby Lee Miller. Give it up, guys. Yes. <laughs> Abby, who do you think is gonna walk out here with $100,000 in the scholarship? I'm always about the technique, but now that we're this far in the game and we're down to the top three, it comes down to some other things. Who took the corrections and applied them? Who has grown from the experience? Who has, you know, that entertainment value? Listen, they're all great. Anyone right. can win and, at this and point. And that's what makes a great competition. But even right now, it can come down to emotion that can get someone through. Because the technique should be here by this point. So we'll see. We have a special treat for this finale. Robin and Richie are going to be on this stage dancing. <laughs> They've each choreographed the dance, and they will be up here with their dancers doing their thing. And Abby Lee Miller, you've got some students coming up here, don't you? I have some students that are now professional dancers yeah. performing. I think we should bring our three finalists up here. What do you Woo! say? The three of you, come on out here. Let's have a round of applause for Brianna, Asia, and Madison, your top three. They love you. How does it feel to be here in the finale? It's so surreal being in the finale and having support from my family, friends, and choreographers makes this experience all the better. And I'm so happy to share it with these other two dancers. And Madison. Amazing. Uh, thank you so much for this amazing experience. It's been so awesome. And these other two girls are just so amazing. And thank you. Asia, what about you? How are you feeling right now? It's amazing to be in the top three with these two older girls. I didn't think I would make it this far. And if it wasn't because of my mom and how I perform, I would have be standing with these two older girls. It's all girls. about the moms. It's true. Here to help these girls out, we have some of our eliminated dancers. Let's welcome Lexine, Zach, Elizabeth, Hadley, Jordan, and Amanda. Look at this group. Welcome back, guys. This group is going to perform a tribute to the women who got them this far, their moms. Take it away, guys. It's fun having my mom here because I wouldn't be here without her. I've never spent so much time with my mom. She really calms me down before I go on stage. I've had an amazing time with her, and this has definitely made our relationship a lot closer.
some noise for the moms. They wouldn't be here without the moms. Make some noise, guys. Yes. And keep it going for their choreographer, the lovely Gina Starbuck. Nice job, Gina. Judges, anything you would like to say to the returning dancers? Welcome back. They look like they've all improved. They look like professionals. Let's have a round of applause for our returning dancers. Thank you so much for coming. It's so great to see you guys back on the stage. You can jump down and watch the rest of the show with your moms. Abby Lee Miller, what'd you think? Outstanding. I was thoroughly entertained. I loved the costuming. I thought the kids all did a great job. Madison, when you were on the scaffolding and you did eight turns, you nailed it. It was great. Brianna, I loved your beginning pose where you were like slouched there. It was really super cool. What I saw was three ladies basically fighting for their lives. I just saw three girls saying, I'm supposed to be here. I worked hard to get here. I deserve to win this competition and that scholarship. Um, you all did such a great job, Brianna. You were strong, you were powerful, but you were so light in your face and beautiful. So good for you, that was beautiful, yeah. And Madison, I just, I mean, I just have to say you're, you're stunning. I think that you gave it all tonight. I don't know, I know you were saying you want more and more, but tonight I think that you just, you killed it. And Asia, you're fierce, and everyone loves you, so no matter what happens, you are loved, so, yeah. Give them a hand, guys. Our final three. Our three finalists will be dancing their hearts out to prove to the judges that they have what it takes to be Abby's ultimate dancer. But first, our lovely judge, Robin Anton, is gonna perform with some of her dancers. Let's give her a hand. Sharing this judge's table with Robin has been an honor. She is a mogul, and she is what every young girl should want for their future. Yes. Thank you, Abby. Great job, Robin. Thank Dancers, you. Thank, thank you so much. You. I like that. See you back out here in a bit, Robin. Are you confident about this number? Are you confident? Yes. Look at Do you have pink lipstick? I'm sweating. In a few minutes, the girls are gonna go on stage and perform their trio, and I'm really nervous about this trio. It's not Asia's style, but I know she knows the routine, but I'm still nervous. If Asia nails this trio, there's nothing stopping her from winning this competition. It's all about the toes and the legs. It's very Asia, it's dramatic. Watch your feet, remember, remember when you watch your feet, you remember them? You remember the C jump? Be flowy, you need to be flowy. It's really hard being in three dances, I mean, We've never done that before, and we're being judged in all of them, so I have to be the best I could be in all three of them, and it is really nerve-wracking. Our next performance is a trio. Here are Asia, Brianna, and Madison.
trio was a hot mess. If we're looking for the ultimate dancer, that's not a good mix. Gotta help the judges because it was a disaster. I'm sorry to say that the worst dancer in this trio is Asia. This trio was very important for us to see because we wanted to know if you three could work together, but also who would outshine the others. Brianna, that foot in the very ending pose, when you go to the floor, you just are in such a bad habit of not winging your feet. You've just never worked through that, that it took like eight counts for you to get that foot on the floor. Madison, we've been on you about the faces and the turns. That's a big correction for every kid. And you did it again. You let the face go, you got nervous. And then when you went and nailed the ending and held on to it, there was this smile that was like, yeah. you know, a Kodak Air. moment. Yeah. And it was like, I just nailed that. Well, it's just its focus and its concentration. So it makes you kind of go into this place and you have to go, right? The second you start to turn, you gotta know, I'm gonna nail it, it's okay, and I'm gonna, you know, you, just, you gotta work on it. Asia, you kind of move a lot to the words, which sometimes makes you look a little off compared to these two. I can see when your mouth is like, were you supposed to sing in this number as well? No. Okay, pass the mic. Brianna, you move on like a pop upbeat. You stay on the upbeat of the music. You're always go. Whereas when I watch you, Madison, you delayed a little bit. Things are a little more stretched out with you. So in my head right now, I'm trying to figure out who was right or who was wrong. Mm -hmm. Nothing about, for me, about this piece said everyone was wholeheartedly confident in what they just did. When you're right. any more than just a solo, you have to work together in the mirror and have every single thing perfect. And I think that's what was missing from this particular trio routine because you guys didn't work together. It was like three separate interpretations. And I was really watching you two over here and you two were not in sync with each other. You gotta go all the way and perform at this level in the competition. All right, girls, great job. Next up, your solos. As you know, Madison picked the order. Asia, you'll go first. And then Brianna and Madison, you will close out the show. Now we have another judge performance choreographed by and featuring our very own Richie Jackson in a piece about getting into the circle of freedom where all genres of dance rule. Give it up, guys. <laughs> So how do you think he did? Okay, 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 okay. You were fierce and dope, and you guys were off the hook, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jordan. Mr. Richie Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. Richie, head back, get changed, man. We'll see you back out here in a little bit. We're here at the season finale of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Our three finalists have been judged on a group number with our returning cast and a trio. Now it's time for their final performances. I am not nervous to perform my solo. I'm gonna prove the judge is wrong. I'm gonna point my feet, straighten my legs, and bring the stuff that I was at. You're a fierce diva fashionista walking on the dance floor. You need to show them what a diva looks like. I'm gonna blow them away. <laughs>
First up, performing a jazz solo. This could make or break her chances at our huge prize. Please welcome Asia. I'm watching Asia solo, and she's full of personality. Is it worthy of $100,000? No. I'm so proud of Asia. She did great. But I know in my heart that Brianna's going to go out and kill it. Let's turn it over to the judges and see what they thought of your last solo performance on this stage. Asia, incredible. Thank you. You, you bring. <laughs> You bring the performer out in all of us. We just want to get up on that stage and strut around with you. Right? Yeah. We already know you're a natural performer, but I'm all about the technique. That's why we gave you this very technical jazz solo. We worked on the preparation, the glee side before your straddle leap. Do you think that that was the best straddle leap that you could have done in your whole life? I could have gone higher, but I don't know. But this is it. This is when you need to be the highest. The very ending pose, all the sass in the world, and then that supporting foot, the one you were standing on, was still turned in. OK. I think that you have so much talent packed inside that little tiny body, and it's just bursting at the seams. And the reason I'm tough on you is because I believe in you, and I think that you have longevity in your career. And I don't want to see you be one of these cute little kids that wins everything, and then they turn into a teenager and they never dance again. Sometimes things come too easily to people. That's where I'm coming from. I want you to have it all. OK, okay. Richie, you're on. For me, I thought it was amazing. <laughs> What I just witnessed was someone who basically put everything on the line while still performing to the audience. Thank you. You walked in here like, I thought you had on heels the way you was walking. It, exactly. Can you I, show I, me that I, walk I, one yeah. more time? Ooh. There you go. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Yes. What I'm saying is that you gave me the story. I thought you was walking into Hollywood. Yeah. You had your shades on, you threw them off, you gave us space. All I'm saying is that, yes, you can still fix the technique, but you definitely are giving me what I need to get at the finale in yes. this competition. All right, Asia, you're still on the top of my list. I mean, you know what? You just understand, you know? You don't even realize it makes you do this face and this just like, because you feel it. Yes. And that's what it's about with you. The technique is there, but what I do notice is your in-betweens, like you, you, you come out of it for literally like, it's a hair of a second, but it's like you're thinking about going into the next thing. And that little tiny thing can hurt you. I am a massive Asia fan. Massive. Asia, this was your last solo performance. 
on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Do you think you gave us the performance to win? I gave it all I got. All right. Let's hear it for Asia. A lot of Asia fans out there. Judges, thank you very much. I'm so proud of you. You did amazing. You did amazing. I gave the solo all I had, and I think that was worth $100,000. Watching Asia solo tonight was entertaining, but the quality and the difficulty, it's not there. $100,000 in a Joffrey scholarship? No, that's not my winner. Remember everything that we talked about, holding on to all your technical aspects? Remember your grandma. Your grandpa is up above watching you. This is where you belong. Don't you forget that. The most important dance tonight is the solo. There's like a personal connection. So that's why I get emotional. The final thing that I want Brianna to remember is that she belongs here. She deserves to be here. And that her angels, my parents, are watching over her. Okay. Next up with a contemporary dance about an angel, please welcome Brianna in her final solo of the competition. Your final solo on this stage. Do you feel that that performance just won you the hundred thousand dollars in the scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet in New York? This journey has been so amazing, and I think, besides taking all the corrections that you guys have given me, and try to fix them, and show you that I deserve this, I walked out on that stage, and I saw my grandma, and she's been helping me throughout this experience. <laughs> but my goal for this was to show you guys that I unleashed my soul and showed you guys the dancer that I really am. So thank you for that opportunity. That was a good speech. Well, I think from the very beginning, from the first time I stood on that stage with you and met you, you have been open-minded. You have been a warrior. You have been an athlete, and I want to commend you on that. Thank you. Now, down to the nitty gritty. The layout, a little scary. I was on the edge of my seat. Were you gonna fall backwards or not? Let's move to the ending turn. Were you all the way up in Relevé where you should have been? Was that turn at the end of that number worth $100,000? Was that the best Brianna that we could have ever seen? Richie? Throughout this competition, Brianna, you have just been so consistent in your delivery in diving into the piece or the character while still showing me you. Your passion is enormous, and I don't ever want you to ever give that up. Thank you. Even if that term wasn't $100,000, you at least made me feel like it was. <laughs> so great job. 
You love to dance. When I watch you, it makes me so appreciative that I know what dancing, that I'm a dancer and that I understand it and that I've gone through this journey in my life, you know? But one thing I want to say, when I said, let your hair down, I meant it literally. I would have liked to have seen it a little more angelic down and, and looser and, you know, that is something that I was missing. So, yeah, great job. Thank, thank you. you judges. Brianna, thank you. Great job. Brianna, you guys. That was amazing. I think in every routine I did tonight, the group dance, the trio, or my solo, I showed the judges a different dancer in each one of them, and each one of them, I did the best that I ever could. I gave it my all, and I'm definitely happy with the last performance I'll ever do on that stage. Are you happy? I want you to be happy, because I'm happy. Uh -huh. She gave a brilliant performance, but I still don't know if it's enough to win the competition. Good job! You guys did awesome! Good job! Now we just wait. Madison's coming up. You can do this. You got it. Yeah. Okay? Let's go out there and live it. I'm backstage with Madison right before she's about to go on, and I see how nervous she is. So I just have to calm her down and just tell her, Live, you're gonna do fine. Go out on that stage and just dance. Do what you love to do, and the judges will see it. So far, we've seen two, and now it's time for this week's challenge winner to perform a lyrical solo. Please welcome Madison. <laughs> Madison, you won the challenge this week, and you got to choose whether you dance first in the middle or last, and you chose last. Do you think that worked out for you? Yeah, sorry. It's OK. I <laughs> yes, I definitely think it helped. And I'm really happy I picked last. Let's see what they thought. Abby Lee Miller, we will start with you. Madison's final solo. I was moved by your performance. Your strength is lyrical. But this solo was to test how well you can emote. I felt that you were fresh and young and innocent. I thought the facial expressions were honest and open, and you were happy to be out on the stage dancing. They didn't look over-rehearsed. Technically, the only thing that I would improve upon is your degage on your supporting foot on your arabesque saute. You did two arabesque sautés, and I want to see that front foot turn out, lead with the heel, and get up off the ground. Otherwise, totally impressed with your turns. Beautiful. When I watch dancers solo, I always want to feel like they might have done this on their own. And when I saw you do this piece, that was what I felt. I know for me in this competition that you have not always been my favorite. More so because I was always missing the expression, the emotion, and I am a firm believer in always dancing honestly. And I really feel like this was a very 
very honest performance. I thought it was amazing. Well, Madison, I've also been a fan of yours throughout this competition, and I've watched you give us go-go. I've watched you give us fierce, hard dancing. And what I love about you is that you can do it all. And that is what a great dancer is. But what I loved about tonight is that you just went, you know what, I'm just gonna dance for my life. Whether I win or I don't win, you gave the best performance that you could possibly give, and it was beautiful. It was freedom. It's crazy how tight this competition is right now. Thank you. Madison kind of came out of her, her shell, and Abby called it as well. And that was a surprise, but I think Brianna looked better to me than Madison. Madison did a good job, but good's not good enough. When Madison came off stage, it was tears of happiness and all the emotions that she was feeling just let go. There's usually one judge giving her negative feedback, and tonight, no one gave her negative feedback. You did amazing! Thank you. We're in the green room, and it's minutes away before we find out the results. We're all nervous, we're all anxious, and I'm just dying to find out who is going to be Abby's ultimate dancer. Welcome back. We're here at the season finale of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. And now, finally, we get to see Abby's expertise in action as some of her former students take the stage. Please welcome four members of the Abby Lee Professional Dance Company. <laughs> Are we strong enough? Can we make the cut? Can we cross the finish line? Make it out in time. Can we pass the bar? Can we make the grade? Can we make it on our own? Make it all alone. Abby, Richie, Robin, that's it. You've seen Asia, Brianna, and Madison perform as a group, as a trio, and now as soloists. It's time for you to make the biggest decision of this competition. Which one of these girls has earned the $100,000 prize and a four-year scholarship to the Young Dancers program at the Joffrey Ballet School in New York? Let's talk about the best dancer. This is my best dancer. She can do my choreography. She's the best dancer. Brianna doesn't have a lot. She can get up, she she can be afraid. Feet. She has bad feet, and they've consistently, yes. consistently been bad. Now it just seems like we have to wait forever to find out. This one is going to go far. I don't think she's the best dancer. It's they all have dancer. issues. I look for stars. She's a star. Well, this is a dance competition. Brianna, on the other hand, I thought it was fantastic. I think Brianna's strong. She's athletic. She's tough. Consistent. But that's it. She's, but she's hard. Every challenge she's gotten, she's, she's just stepped big up and to nasty every and challenge. strong, and she pulls those kids over. Well, she's been prepared. She does not impress. I asked her to come in and soften it up. And you know, I saw it, but I didn't see it 100%. But she has so many flaws. This kid technically is gorgeous and wonderful to look at, but she can't act or perform like these two. 
I'm not gonna say was her all-time greatest. But again, same old, same old. Side aerial on the right, straddling on the right. At least this kid came out and did stuff on the left. She did stuff we haven't seen her do before. Right, but Madison has had some bad performances. She hasn't had great or many even good performances. She, that's, at least she was doing a ballet dance. This one has nothing but jazz. I have to say tonight, Madison was clearly the one who championed. Clearly. clearly. I agree. I'm really Hands percent. down. How do you think you did? You felt good, right? I thought she was great. I thought she was beautiful. I didn't see Madison for six weeks. And it was only until she got challenged to dance for her life was the first time I ever seen her. She took all of your mentoring corrections. Yes. She came out. She did it. She opened up. She was unbelievable. Yeah, she, she was finally showed wholesome. up. She was. She was clean. She was fresh. She was a dancer's body. Yes. She had beautiful lines. Exactly, which yes. is what we love. I mean, that's what I look for. I like that wholesome, I do too. squeaky clean I do princess too. image. But Madison just showed up. That's well, my only problem. Okay. So if you do a tour for eight weeks, do you wait on the tour for the eighth week for your dancers to be amazing? No. They gotta be amazing from day one. Yes. How'd you think you did, Brianna? Uh, I think I did the best that I possibly could. Left it all out there. It really all just depends on what they think. You oh, know you she, love Asia. I think exactly she's great enough. musicality, and she has great timing, and she has great, like, that just intuition yeah. to read the music ahead of time. She does. she does. This was a good one. You finally impressed Abby. She has new appreciation for you. Did you hear her say that? That's good. She's got to work on her technique. I don't care. I love her. I think she's amazing. There's a reason why I love her, and America loves her. We're only minutes away and minutes and minutes and minutes away from hearing the judge's decision. And Madison and Brianna are really nervous. I'm not nervous at all right now because I know I'm worth $100,000. Yes. Brianna and Madison, they're both great dancers. Asia would win because she's the star of the of the whole competition. I hate to say it, it wasn't nothing else that I hadn't seen from Asia. For me, it was another one of her performances. No, another one of her great performances. OK. As far as the trio, Madison and Brianna, their timing was so off that it was hard for me to really I agree. see them. I agree. So I know, the I trio was awesome. I can't, even, so I can't even comment. We're down to the wire. Right now, we're just waiting for the judges to deliberate, and Madison and I are exhausted, we're excited. This is all just so nerve-wracking. We just want to know now. We've been working so hard for the past 10 weeks. We just want to know the outcome. Have you come to a consensus? Yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's really tearing our hearts apart. Let's go ahead and bring the moms and their daughters back up to the stage. Congratulations, girls. Congratulations, moms. This has been an incredible journey and one of the toughest decisions that we've ever made. This time being on stage for the competition is just way worse than any other elimination. It's horrible. We're just so nervous. It's so nerve wracking. Moms, this is your last chance. Tell the judges why you think your daughter should win. I think Asia, since she's come here, I think that she has grown with your help with your critique, she's taken it to heart, and she brought everything to the stage with her performance each week. This has been an amazing journey for Madison and I. She wants to win this more than anything. She would love to go to the Joffrey School of Dance. She knows that she wants to go to Juilliard one day. That would be the next step, is to get her there, is to the Joffrey School of Dance. She just lives and breathes dance, and it's her passion. Um, I believe that Brianna has been working for this since she was four years old. And I know it's something that she really wants. She's danced her heart out for you. This has been an amazing journey for the both of us. And it's something that we'll never forget. Thank you, moms. Now it's time to find out which one of you will be Abby's first ever ultimate dancer. Standing on stage is just, it's brutal. Anyone could take this competition. So we don't know which way it's gonna go.
Ladies, I am honored to have the three of you standing before us on this stage for the very first Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. And I know if you continue working the way you have these past 10 weeks, you're gonna have great, exciting, fun-filled careers. And the opportunities are endless. Now, my last critique. Asia, you've worked so hard in this competition. I know everyone talks about your age, and I don't want to do that. I've been the one on your back, all about the technique. I've never let up one week. I've been tough on you. But look how far you've come. You are clearly a star. Beyonce in seven years. <laughs> I feel like you're my little star here. And, you know, I think of you as lightning in a bottle. You're the tiniest one, but you dance and shine like the biggest star. Thank you. Brianna, you dance with your soul. You've overcome obstacles. I think that your strength and your exhilaration and your determination are a force to be reckoned with. But I want you to step away from that, and I want you to work on all the other things. The feet, the legs, the posture, close the ribs, all the things I've droned on about. Yes? Brianna, I don't know what else we could throw at you that you're not going to say, OK, great, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be in a fat suit. I'm going to be a werewolf and Little Red Riding Hood at the same time. A performance that I thought was amazing, that African performance I still have not recovered from. So great job. Great job. Madison, you are a dancer. You were born to dance. I think you held back a little bit, maybe too long. Madison, every single week, you worked and you worked and you you know, it's kind of like you crawled your way up there. And I am proud of you for pouring your heart out and living on stage. There is no doubt that someday you will dance on the Great White Way. So please send me a ticket to your first Broadway show. Thank you. I wish that I could take that check, tear it into three parts, and we could all go home happy. But unfortunately, that is not possible at this time. So without further ado, the dancer who placed last in this final competition is Asia. Asia. Congratulations. Nobody thought you'd make it this far, and you proved them all wrong, including me. I got third place, but I think I did really good. I'm a performer, and I made it this far, and just being here makes me a winner anyways. Brianna, Madison, this is the toughest decision we've had to make so far. You are both incredibly talented. We're down to the final two. Brianna wants the scholarship to Joffrey more than anything and $100,000. And it comes down to this moment, Brianna and I are both dying at this point. The winner of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition is is Brianna. When I heard Abby say my name, I broke down. I couldn't believe that my dream had finally come true. And words can't describe how honored I feel about being Abby's first ever Ultimate Dancer. This belongs to you. Congratulations, Brianna. This has been a life-changing experience. And I'm extremely proud of Brianna. I feel like she's kind of blossomed here. I'm really proud of Brianna for winning this competition. She's such an amazing dancer, and this has been such an awesome experience, so I'm really proud of myself. I'm disappointed for Madison because I know she really wanted it, but I'm happy that she made it this far. Brianna is the epitome of an Abby Lee Dance Company member, and I think in the end, it just came down to consistency 
This is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime moment, and I'll never forget this experience.